हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम मिसेस संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू एक्सप्लेन वन ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम सी प्रोग्रामिंग दॅट इज हाऊ टू पास अन ॲरे टू द फंक्शन इन दिस व्हिडिओ सेशन आय एम गोईंग टू कव्हर ओनली द वन डी ॲरे फॉर द इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट फंक्शन्स यू कॅन go through my previous video that i am flashing on right up corner same thing for an introduction about an array you can go through my previous video so now let's start with how to pass an array to the function for this i am going to explain it with the help of c program this is one program where i have declared an array of type integer and of size 5 here i am going to accept the value from a user and i am going to display it this is a simple program where i am going to perform all these tasks within the main function only now as i have said previously i am going to explain how to pass an array to the function for this what we need to do so now let's focus on the program where my requirement is if i want to pass an array this integer type array to the function for the display purpose that is i want to display the content of an array within the separate function what i need to do so let's start with the program where very first thing i need to decide what will be the prototype for my function so now as i want to perform the display operation there will not be any return type so for no any return type i need to use a void keyword as a return type i need to decide the name of function that i am going to use a function name display opening closing bracket it indicates that this is a function and here we need to pass the parameters to the function we need to declare what will be the data type and how many parameters will be there so now as we have decided to pass an array an array is of type integer so i need to provide this will be an array of type integer so first integer is going to indicate that ki array will be of type integer and here subscript is used to indicate that this is an array not a single integer type value at the end we need to declare it with the or end with a semicolon so this is nothing but the function prototype declaration so we have done with the function prototype declaration now let's think about the definition here at the end i am going to include the definition of the function so the same return type we need to use over here the same function name we need to use over here including the same number of arguments as well as with the same data type but here we need to give the name to the variable with its size it was not included in the prototype declaration here it is mandatory to define key what will be the data type and whether this is an array or not so now as we are going to deal with array that's why we need to provide a subscript over here and its data type the variable name to provide the variable name it's not mandatory if it is a function prototype declaration if it is function prototype declaration we need to instruct to compiler only about the number of parameters and its data type that's it so here i have not mentioned any name but if you want you can give the name to the variable over here as well 
but it is mandatory in case of function definition so here we are starting with the function definition here i am giving a comment like this is nothing but the function definition that we are going to provide over here so what we need to perform with this function we need to perform the task of displaying an array so now here what we will do this is nothing but the task which is used in our previous program to display an array so we need to remove all this thing from our main program correct this one is our main program we need to remove all this thing and we need to put all these things or all these line of statement within the main sorry within the display function so what we'll do we'll first of all remove all these things from the main function uh, we'll put all these things in our display function now here what is going to be happen so display is nothing but a function which is used to display the array whose name is a in this definition so now here we need to make change of like the array name will be a here we need to declare the integer type variable i that we are going to use as index in our program all of you must be knowing the scope rule of the variables like i if i am going to use that in my function i need to declare it the same thing if a is my variable name of an array in my function i need to use an a over here not an array because array is a variable which is declared in the main function and a is a variable which is declared in the function display both are different or two different variables so now what we need to do over here here first of all as we have done with the function prototype declaration now function definition and now let's go for the function call what i need to write down for a function call so function call will be always the name of function the opening closing bracket in which we need to provide the parameter or the argument which we need to pass to the function so here in this case we are going to pass an array that's why a variable name of the array we need to pass as a parameter so now this is very important thing while calling the function do not write down its data type no we are not going to provide any data type over here as well as do not provide the subscript with their size no it's not allowed we need to pass only the name of the array this name of the array is going to be used as a base address of the array base address is nothing but the starting address of an array ultimately this array is going to be called to the function with the help of its base address so wherever this array is declared in the memory initialized in the memory of that array only the base address we are going to pass and that will be collected in the another variable whose name is a in the function display so now let's see whether we are getting the correct output or not now before that i'd like to give a comment over here this is nothing but a function call correct so now what our program is going to do now our program is going to do like array is declared of size 5 we are going to enter five values from a user using scanf function and to display the entire array we are going to call a function display by passing the array variable or a base address of array so now let's see what is the output for this program so now let's execute this code after executing this code our program is error free is not going to give any error and it's waiting for the input for all five values which we are going to accept from a user for an array so now here we are getting the output entered values of an array are 1 2 3 4 5 that we have displayed with the help of function display so now here you must be getting how to pass an array to the function now let's add one more function which will be going to be used to 
accept the value from a user with the help of function. So now here let's write down one another function accept. Here again I am going to pass an array to the function and accordingly will accept the value from user. So this is nothing but again function prototype declaration. Let's write down the definition for the accept function. So I am going to write down that definition over here. Uh, let's copy and paste it. We need to make the change in the function name. The name of function is accept. The rest of things are same. That is one single parameter. We are going to pass which is nothing but an array of type integer. Here only just uh, printing the value we are going to accept it. That's why I write down the scanf function with the help of ampersand. Here we are going to accept the integer value for all the i that is i will be executed from 0 to 4 till the condition is true. So total 5 values we are going to accept over here. Now we need to change our main function. We need to remove all these things from the main function and what we need to do? We need to call the function accept over here. So what we'll do here again we'll pass the base address of an array to the function and let's check what will be the output. So now what we have done I'm going to repeat the things again. I have declared the accept function over here prototype declaration where single integer parameter will be there but it's not for a single value this will be an array. Next I have declared I have def uh, defined the function that is the same function name accept with the integer array whose name is a. For that array I am going to accept a value from a user in the accept function. and that accept function we are going to call over here. So this one is our function call. So now let's check the output what we are getting the output. So now let's execute it again and let's check the output. Now our program is again error free and waiting for a input over here. So let's give the input 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and it is giving the output like Entered values of an array are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The output will be just same as of the previous one because we are only making the change like whatever the task we have done in the main function that we are going to perform within a accept function. So now here we can say that we have performed two separate tasks accept, accepting of an array that we have performed in accept function and displaying of an array that we have performed in a display function. Ultimately, in both the functions we have pass an array to the function. Here I would like to explain that why it is needed to pass an array to the function because array this variable is declared within a main which will not be having the scope in the accept function. So if I will declare an integer array within a accept function that we need to return back and while returning an array we need to return back its address correct so if we'll return back an address that we need to collect somewhere in the pointer variable currently in this video i am not going to use any concept of pointers so that's why it's better to use an array or declare an array in the main and pass its base address to both of the functions. The return type of both of the function is void. That's why we are not going to return back anything from the both of the function. That's why we are not going to collect anything in the main function. So hope you must have understand what to do if we want to pass an array to the functions. Thank you dear friends for listening my video. If you like the contents and the video, please like the video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.